Hey everyone, welcome to Sangeetha Creates. In today's video, we'll be creating this floral pattern. You'll need a ball pen, brush pen, a pencil and a sketchbook to start off. I recommend practicing this on a rough book before moving on to your final piece. Draw a spiral like shape. Another element is like a W, a small letter W, a U curve. And the fillers are a U curve and fill it up with ink. Another filler is a dot and drag a straight line and a straight line with a uh, dot in between. These are the simple elements for the flower, a spiral and this W wonky kind of a shape creates the inner part of the flower, U shapes all around it to create more petals. Add another layer of the W like pattern. You can make them as big and small as you like depending on the space available on your paper. And if you like dainty drawings, you can go ahead and do this in a smaller version. I like to make them big. That's it. That's how you draw the flower and you move on to the fillers. U shape, fill it up with ink. You can switch the fillers depending on where you like them. You can choose to omit few of these fillers and add colors instead. That is a possibility as well. I like such decorative uh, floral motifs. And to finish it off, take a brush pen, preferably one which is waterproof and go over it to thicken it. And this leaf, I have shown how to draw them in my previous videos. It's a J-like shape that you combine together. And this faded kind of an effect that you can achieve through a ball pen. That's the main intention of using ball pen here to create this leaf. To create a very faded out effect. Make sure to keep a tissue on hand because if you're excessively using ball pens, the nib can get clogged with ink. And that's it. Those are the elements that you need to draw the flower. I'm repeating the same exact steps on my final piece. As you can see, I've drawn quite a few. You can go ahead and sketch it out with pencil depending on how comfortable you are. To start off with, Pencil is the best way to go so that you know the placement of the flowers. I'm using a Camelin Tora pen. The thickness of the nib is one and I'm using a Tombow uh, brush pen. All of these are water resistant. It means that when you are applying any water-based background such as watercolors or water-based inks these colors do not get activated and get smudged with it so if you are going to color in the background using a crayon or a color pencil you don't need to worry about these things I love creating patterns that's uh, my favorite thing to do and as some of you might know I've been drawing for thousand plus days and through through that time of course I've realized I love pens but along with that creating patterns is another pa uh, passion of mine I like to observe them in nature pick some of the elements from there and incorporate it As you can see, I've moved the book around. That's another practice or that's another thing that I do so that my hand is more comfortable. You can add any kind of filler depending on what you like 
I urge you to come up with your own fillers. Have fun while creating patterns. This is a very very relaxing activity. It can be if adults are doing it, you can take a copy of it and ask your children to color what you've drawn. Or it can be the best coloring page that you create for yourself. Say for instance, you've created this pattern, leave it black and white. Take a copy of it and you can keep experimenting with different colors if you're on a train ride or if you have a long flight or your car these things help you spend your time more productively here i've moved on to water soluble fountain pen inks by the brand dayton please don't forget to follow me on instagram and on youtube at sangeeta creates please leave a comment like share and subscribe to this channel I love using these inks um because it is so vibrant and the bottle never seems to run out of color that's another advantage it's extremely reasonably priced and it lasts for the longest time i don't think i've even created a dent in finishing the colors and i've already had it for over a year and these are far more vibrant than um normal student grade watercolors that's another thing and is not chalky so the texture is very smooth on the paper so if you want to go over it with more pens or other art supplies i find these are easy to work with these inks are available on amazon if you're interested to know you can put them in normal ink pens and use it the traditional way as well but i prefer to use them as watercolors or water soluble inks and that's it your pattern is ready i hope you enjoyed today's video please like share and comment i hope you do try it out have a creative time happy pen loving I'll see you soon. Bye.